on this episode, we are going to go back to Fletcher's Fun Toys. They've been posting a lot of vintage Ewok stuff, so I've been showing it to Ewok M, and she's been getting very stoked about it. So we're going to grab a couple of our things that we want to get rid of, and we're going to take it to Fletcher's Fun Toys. Hopefully when we get there, they still have all the Ewok stuff that we are trying to get. And just to let you guys know, we are still doing toy hunts in Florida, so we are still going to cover Florida and do some toy hunting there. We have just been very busy lately, so sorry about that, guys. And we are up to 797 subscribers, which thank you guys for that. It means a lot. The force is strong in you. I've also been working on a small project that I've been trying to get done personally. Um, I've been skateboarding my whole life, so I'm trying to get the skateboarding video done. And I'm going to quit skateboarding after that. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips from the video that I'm working on. And here they are. <laughs> That's what I've been working on. Um, I do have another YouTube channel. It's called We Just Skate, if you guys want to check it out. I do enjoy making my Star Wars videos, and I do enjoy Star Wars content, So, and I also love collecting vintage Star Wars. I just wanted to let you guys know what we have been up to. We've also been working on our van a lot, so we're trying to get that project done as well. You guys just work with us. We are going to post as much videos as we can. I'm going to keep this channel going. I plan on doing so many more videos with this channel, so... You guys will see more content coming from us. As you guys know, we have been trying to make this whole entire corner over here nothing but Ewok stuff for uh, Ewok M. I took my personal eight original Ewoks and I ended up recarding these guys to put on the wall for display of what they would look like when they were carded from back in the day. I will slowly collect each original Ewok on an original card back one at a time over time. But this right here works for now. All of these came from Blizzard Force Customs, and they actually came in today, so I ended up carting all of these guys and throwing them up on the wall today. So that's kind of what I did today before we decided to go to Fletcher's. I just thought I would share that with you guys, So, and it's pretty cool to look at, and I like the way it looks going with the whole entire Ewok section that we have going on. So let's head over to Fletcher's and let's go get this Ewok stuff, guys. This is our uh, life-size Darth Vader with the Ruby's helmet. It's on a mannequin in here in our storage unit. Just wanted to share that with you guys. But all right, we're here to find a box. And it is for Emily, so she can do some trading. All right, I, I think it's right there. Yep, there it is. Yeah, unfortunately, we love it, but we're going to get rid of it. Ewok stuff. I need Ewok stuff. All right, guys, so last night we made it here to Asheville. And we stopped by the storage unit, and this is what we grabbed. So we got a box here, which is full of Power of the Force 2 stuff. This is all Jabba's Palace. So this is a bunch of people from Jabba's Palace here. And then we got the 3D thing from the Power of the Force 2 for Jabba's Palace as well. Just a bunch of random stuff in here. This was an extra one that Emily had. She found one with the hood on there. So she's going to get rid of this one because it doesn't have the hood. And we also have just other... Power of the Force 2 stuff in here, I believe. Yeah, there's a Wampa in there. Luke. Luke in the back of the tank. And then, also, these are pretty cool. They're not original. But we have the whole set. They're the special edition one. And they're in really good shape. So, we're going to get rid of those as well. We also decided to get rid of this. Ewok M bought that and we've had it for quite some time and it is pretty cool because it is from episode one. But as you guys know, we went straight to vintage. So a lot of this stuff is just the stuff that we had from before that we don't want to keep anymore. The Royal Naboo ship, it is a one of a kind ship and I know it's really hard to find this thing sometimes. We have seen it a couple of times, toy hunting, you know, and this thing is amazing. I love the details of this ship. You can't pass on this ship, even though it's from episode one. You just can't pass on this, guys. I think the details on this ship is pretty cool, and, you know, 
I wish they would have made it a little bit bigger so the action figures could fit. But overall, it's pretty cool to have. But unfortunately, we're going to part ways with this. I'm very sad, but we will find that again one day. I'm also going to bring some of these guys with us. I don't need these guys. They're just extras. I'm also going to get rid of the case here. And I also have this George Lucas here that I'm going to get rid of, which is George Lucas in the X-Wing pilot suit, which is really cool. It's the Darth Vader from Kenobi. Now, this is interesting. I've only seen this once in person. We found this at Toy Federation. And that's Baby Leia and Baby Luke in there with Obi-Wan and Bail Organa. It's got the comic book inside there for Revenge of the Sith. That's actually really neat. So we're going to let her get that. And uh, if you guys want to get this stuff from Fletcher's, man, go check out Fletcher's Fun Toys and go pick up some of this stuff. Ewok Game is still drinking her coffee. And we're going to pack up the car with all of this stuff. And we're going to head over to Fletcher's. And we're going to try to get rid of this stuff and try to get that Ewok stuff for Ewok M. All right, guys. So Rachel's in there in Fletcher's right now. She's going through all the stuff that we brought. There's a lot of people in there right now. So we didn't really want to film inside at the moment. There's a lot of chaos going inside the toy store. It's like a KB Toys and Toys R Us. So it's pretty cool in there. Ewok in here. I don't want to tell them. I know. We're not going to say anything. We're not going to say anything, but... It's a surprise. It's a surprise. But we are leaving here with a couple of things that is Ewok. So that is a big, big plus from Fletcher's right now. We're going to go stop by somewhere else that you guys know. All right, guys. It's a little windy, but we're here at uh, Toy Federation. And we're going to try to get rid of the uh, Royal Naboo ship and a couple of other things we brought. So I'm going to film Emily handling all the business here, guys. Let's see how this goes. You want me to sign it? Yeah. Do a little. I bought this two years, two years ago, brand new, complete in the box, still packaged, not yeah. put together or anything. And then everyone told me I wouldn't find it. I found it and then I bought it. And now we don't have room for it. I've kind of honed in on the 1980s stuff and I'm really only about the Ewoks and a little bit of Hoth. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. And that takes up a lot of space. It does. But it's so, cool. It yeah. Here. So it's still hot, and that's kind of what we thought. It has the remote control in it. Never. That's still in the package. So I have the stickers are in there, but I have the paper that the stickers came on. It still has the directions. Is the hyper drive in there? Yes. Yes. I have the red R two D two droid at home, and the um, other droid that I came with. But I will mail those to you. It's the, it, the other one is the one that blows up or the. Uh, yeah, I forget his name. The red. Yeah. And so yeah, got, it goes on the handle or whatever. Both of those, I just forgot them because they were off to the side. So, and then in here, it has the instructions. It still has the remote in there. I've never put batteries in it. Like, didn't even try to load it up or anything. Um, so there's that. Okay. And then there's the three records that aren't original, but they're the special edition ones. For laser discs? I don't yeah, we don't know. We got those somewhere. In... These are laser discs. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh, those are. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. You we don't want to keep laser discs. They're cool. I don't know. What They're it is. like albums. We don't have room for them. <laughs> okay. See, he asked me that, and I was like, I don't know how we would project that. We have a record player, but like, no, you, that's not a. No, you have to buy a laser disc player. Uh, yeah, we don't need those. It's kind of like if you remember Dragon's Lair in the arcade, it was a animated yes. game. Oh. So it just ran on these giant discs. Oh, okay. So this is just a big, big DVD. Oh, that's That's neat. insane. That's yeah. neat. But I, I like just learned better, something. Because they're more like albums. Yeah. And, and okay. certain deluxe ones might have booklets inside, so they're better than just a generic DVD case. Yeah. But the the better ones, see, these are special edition. Mm-hmm. Or wait, wait, maybe they're not. Because that's probably pre that term. What year is this? Well, I think the originals didn't have any of that on them. Right. Mm. These might so these might be good. There's I'm thinking see it's it's tricky phrasing now. It's special yeah. widescreen edition. Back but then, special edition was the nineties yeah. version. When they redid it yeah. and they changed it. These yeah. might be the ones that are not edited. That would be and then even better. They were sought after because this was the only true way in widescreen that to you watch could see it. the movie unedited. Huh. Until they did some Well if that's what that is, because they they were pretty penny. When we saw them, but we were like, we didn't, we didn't really know. 
But it had all three because he's in Fire Strikes Back. Well, we totally and thought they were Strikes records, Jedi. first and, of all, and, so we'll start and, with that. <laughs> thought that they were going to play music. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. But then we were like, well, we can't play music on them anyways because some what of if the artists, them? they're great. Like, I, I collect some of these, but only like. I think I have Escape from New York, The Thing, Excalibur. <coughs> yeah, just They're some. just cool. It is neat. Um, Widescreen? Yeah. And there might only be 10 titles. Yeah. And then it would get to be 20 titles. And then it get to be 30 titles. 1980, Lucasfilm well, Limited. Well, that's when the movie came out. But, oh, true. You're right. Copyright. What's that say? It's, 1989, the CBS okay. Fox Company. So then, that this is the this is okay. So here's so right, it's 1989. So yeah, yeah, because I remember. How did my we buddy, miss that? I didn't even see that when we first. We didn't know what it was. <laughs> but see, saw. this is tricky because it says special edition. Right. So yeah, what is that? That's not, what made me. It's not special edition. Yeah. It's the original yeah. Star Wars trilogy. That's pretty much what so this yeah. that's mind blown. These are better. Yeah, but you still have to have a couple hundred dollar laser disc player on, oh, you know, yeah, on yeah. eBay, an old one. To be able to use it. Damn, that was sitting in storage and we didn't even know that. So in college, my buddy had these and we used to go to his place and watch them. Oh, that's then, awesome. That's cool. But TVs back then, they weren't so, rectangular. Yeah. They were, so that's why you got the big black bars across the top bottom yeah if you've ever watched an old letterbox yeah because it didn't fit the screen was because the vhs is, does what they call pan and scan so like there's a classic scene on uh let's say last crusade or uh let's just say two people are coming together on the left and right side of the screen to shake hands yeah you see the entire coming together and they shake hands so in a pan and scan they'll show the left guy coming in then they'll go to the right, show the right guy coming in. And then show them. Then they'll show it in the middle. So they keep panning yeah, to where the action is. Weird. So unless you saw Star Wars in the theater or own this, you saw Jabba's the denizens and Jedi or all kinds of, like when, when Vader chokes Mahdi. Yeah. You don't even see all the people sitting around the table. Cause Dude, that's crazy. That's wild. Well, we're not going to even keep these because uh, honestly, we were going to display them in our Star Wars room. Yeah. But what we're doing right now, we don't have the room. Yeah, no, lazy discs are cool. Yeah. That's a whole nother thing. So, of course, you know me. I got to come over here and check out the figures. And looks like the same stuff, but look what's here. Things completed. That is the Sears Imperial Transport right there. I have the other one at home, but definitely might end up getting this right here. Hello, Wicket. It's Ewok M. All right, guys. So y'all just saw I got the Wicket phone. And I got the sit and spin. There's Nisa, Wicket, their friend. The Ewok's on the glider. Wicket going out to go hunt. And then you've got somebody going collecting stuff and then he got wicked on top y'all saw us get the stuff out of the storage unit and get ready to go make a trade we went to fletcher's fun toys and i was able to we were well we were able to trade a good portion of that stuff basically everything except the naboo ship and then the lando graded lando and then the three records that aren't records they're laser discs so with that those trades I was able to get these two babies, and this is the whole reason why Alex and I came. I broke my rule, guys. I, I, he saw something online. He showed me the phone. I was like, oh, my God, I really, really want that. Then he shows me this bad boy, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? I really want that. And then he was like, well, they also have that woodland wagon. We decided to pass on the woodland wagon for now because it's in the box it's sealed and as y'all know we are box people but we're not we like to be able to take our stuff out and put it on display and it's not that cool to display everything in the little plastic baggies because you can't really see it can't really play with it so we decided for now we're gonna wait it's gonna come to us we'll get it a different day out the box or well in the box but not in the packaging that way we can have the box have it out pretty and do it the way we like to do it. 
So we passed on that. But we got these two things. Oh my goodness. We decided to not do the Naboo trade. I've still got that. Y'all hear more about that later. But I did get this. Guys, it's the Warwick coin. So eventually, I hope to get all of the coins that they have for the Ewoks. And that includes the Ewok cartoon series. But this is the one that I wanted to start with. He had the Warwick, he had the Ramba, and he had the Biker Scout. And so this was the one that I wanted to start with because I bought Warwick from Toy Federation when we first started, the day I discovered it. Alec wasn't even with me. And Ramba and Warwick were the two. I didn't want to get both today. I just decided to get the one. But look at what we got, guys. We got Ewok stuff. Ewok stuff. Ewok stuff. I got Ewok stuff. So as you saw, Ewok in was able to share some of the things that she ended up getting. And I ended up coming across. Now, this is the Sears Imperial Transporter. Now, I have the other transporter that Kenner made. This one doesn't have the battery compartment, so it doesn't take batteries. So the whole entire back end of this is so empty that you can put as many stormtroopers as you want inside of this thing. So that's a pretty cool thing or whatever other kind of accessories you want to put into this. Now, the one thing I love about this thing is all the details that this thing has. Now, this one that I came across has all of the stickers with it. So I'm able to show you guys what I'm talking about here. Now, the details on the other one that they have, there's not that many details for the outside. They have red little strips right here that go on the front. This one actually has stickers that go across the whole entire front of it. And then you even got the stickers right here on the top. Now, unlike the other one, these don't go down because the other one is buttons. Now, I ended up getting this from Toy Federation. I actually just randomly came across it while we were there, while Emily was trying to get rid of the Naboo ship. I saw this in the display case, and I was like, I can't pass on that. I've seen it on eBay and all that, but I just couldn't pass on it. Now I have it. I have both of them. So I'm going to put these guys right next to each other, which is really cool. And I'm pretty happy with this. It's a really good find. It's all completed. It has all the stickers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for following Toy Bounty Hunter. We love having you guys with us. And you never know what you're going to find. You never have a clue. So go out there, Star Wars hunt. Have a good time, guys. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. I got the wicked phone! Man, it's really windy out here. But it's a beautiful view.